Good evening. Today, CNN was first to learn that the president of the United States asked a top border official to break the law and promised him a pardon if he did. We also learned from the president himself, who tweeted and spoke about it today, that he wants his immigration authorities to do something that they've already told him would be unlawful and that others have called inhumane in the extreme, whether it's legal or not. And that's on top of new reporting that just days after telling the country he would not close the border for a year, he told officials in private to close it now. Put it all together, along with some other recent statements and actions, and it raises a number of questions. Is this a president who doesn't know the difference between what's legal and what's not? Is this a president who simply thinks and acts as if he's above the law? Or is this a president who will do and say anything to cater to his base and appear what he would consider to be tough, even if the actions he's proposing are not likely to ever occur? The day began with the White House downplaying last night's reporting on a proposed plan for using Central American migrants detained at the border, essentially as human trash, to be dumped as retribution on the cities of his political adversaries. Here's part of the statement. Again, this is from the White House, essentially poo-pooing the story. They say, and I'm quoting, the simple question that was informally asked was whether illegal aliens, already being released on a daily basis, could be sent to and cared for by sanctuary jurisdictions whose stated policy is to welcome and embrace illegal aliens. The idea was briefly and informally raised and quickly rejected. So there it is, the White House saying, this was just a question that was informally asked, wasn't seriously talked about, briefly raised, quickly rejected. That was at 11.35 a.m. this morning. Then came the old White House whiplash at exactly 12.38 p.m., one hour and three minutes after his White House just knocked down the idea and poo-pooed the whole thing. The president gave the idea a big old bear hug. Here it is. We are, and I'm quoting, indeed, as reported, giving strong considerations to placing illegal immigrants in sanctuary cities. Then at a White House telecom event later this afternoon, he said this. California certainly is always saying, oh, we want more people, and they want more people in their sanctuary cities. Well, we'll give them more people. We can give them a lot. We can give them an unlimited supply. And let's see if they're so happy. They say we have open arms. They're always saying they have open arms. Let's see if they have open arms. He wants to put undocumented immigrants on buses and send them to Democratic districts to punish his opponents. And then he threw his White House under a bus by contradicting the denials they just put out. He's talking, remember, and it bears repeating, about human beings, many of whom are seeking asylum here, which is their right under international law, whether you want them to do that or not. And it's the obligation under international law of the host country to give their claims a fair hearing. Instead, the president is discussing, in the tone of voice you just heard, the possibility of casting all that aside because he'd rather use these human beings to somehow bring retribution on the politicians who oppose him. As if these men and women, some with children, were, as CNN chief legal analyst Jeffrey Tubin put it on the program last night, some form of pestilence to be visited upon your enemy. And just in case you're wondering whether the president is capable of reducing an entire group of individuals to a single negative or hateful term, consider that just the other day he accused Democrats, all of them, of committing treason. It's not a stretch to think he actually cannot or will not see the simple humanity of people he wants to use, he suggests, to punish his opponents. Now, one thing is certain, though. What he said today is a far cry from what he said on the subject a bit more than a year ago. Remember when he and lawmakers from both parties were allegedly trying to hammer out an immigration reform bill? There should be a bill of love. Truly, it should be a bill of love, and we can do that. Could he have done it? Senior advisor Stephen Miller, as you know, favors hardline immigration policies. The fired DHS Secretary Kirsten Nielsen resisted some, but certainly not all of them. She repeatedly lied, saying there was no policy of child separation meant to deter illegal immigration. But none of what we've seen and none of what we could see happens unless the man at the top wants it. So does President Trump want it because he is, his base wants it, because he wants to assure them he's tough, or does he want to treat people like this because this is who he is? Which brings it all back to how the president sees undocumented immigrants and legal immigrants and how he sees the law. As we said at the top, CNN was the first to report that he asked a top border official to break the law to close the door on asylum seekers, whom the president again today suggested do not have legitimate claims they face persecution back home. We're the first to report that he promised a pardon for doing it. To be precise, it was the lead's Jake Tapper who got the scoop. We're pleased he could join us to talk about it. So, Jake, what exactly did the president say to the then Commissioner of Customs and Border Protection last week? Well, the context is uh, the president had just uh, visited uh, the border at Calexico, California, and told Border Patrol agents, as I told you earlier this week, uh, to stop 
enforcing uh, the law by letting asylum seekers in. Basically, just keep them out of the United States. And uh, obviously, the border agents had been told after President Trump left, you can't do that. You have to let people in. That's the law. Uh, after that, President Trump met with the head of Customs and Border Protection, Kevin McAleenan, uh, and said, we really got to keep him out. And if you go to jail for this, I will give you a presidential pardon. Now, the senior administration officials who were briefed on this conversation, who told me about it, uh, said they didn't know if the president was joking or, or serious, uh, but he definitely said this. And it all really is of a piece, Anderson, having to do with the president's frustration with immigration laws and his desire uh, stated to have his officials, administration officials and agents break those immigration laws to be even more hardline. In terms of the president's proposal to release undocumented immigrants to sanctuary cities for political reasons, again, I mean, there's no other reason, uh, no. you know, other than, you know, driving somebody up, driving busloads of people up to Nancy Pelosi's district. It's just to try to punish Nancy Pelosi, I guess, in the president's mind. I, I understand you've actually obtained documents from the general counsel for the Department of Homeland Security, documents that he sent to the White House about this back in February. That's right, uh, because this was actually being very seriously pushed by President Trump uh, and other immigration hardliners in the White House, Stephen Miller and others, saying that they really wanted to do this, uh, even though the White House earlier today tried to poo-poo uh, the story, saying it wasn't really taken seriously. It was taken seriously, and the general counsel of the DHS, uh, John Mitnick, uh, sent the White House uh, a legal analysis, and it basically had three parts. One was, we are not allowed to spend DH money to do this, to transport these individuals, unless it's for a clear uh, agency-related purpose, such as providing medical care to individuals or if facilities are becoming overcrowded. And, and, the, and the underlying message is, we can't do this for political reasons. That's, that would be against our charter, that would be against the law. Uh, he made two other points. This would open up the agency and the U.S. government to lawsuits because you'll mm. be denying due process to these individuals. And if you do this, the odds that these individuals do not show up for their deportation hearing are much stronger. So in other words, you'll be undermining the law and you'll be undermining your own purpose of wanting these people to go back where they came from. I mean, it, it, you know, it bears just sort of stepping back for a moment and pointing out, I mean, we're talking about human beings here right. loaded onto buses and sent far away to random places for political purposes to punish Democrats. To think that that's an actual serious consideration is incredible from this White House. The law is not, let's ship them thousands of miles away to the district of somebody so we can make a political point, regardless of how vulnerable this individual might be. What if it's a 19-year-old right. girl and, and she has friends and family in, in Tennessee and she doesn't know anybody in San Francisco? Or, or somebody you know has a medical issue, dies on the bus going there. I mean, they've died going someplace for political purposes, I, it used as a pawn, it, it's incredible. Um, we should also point out, I mean, Customs and Border Protection, the, the folks that were working on the border have a tough enough job as it is, and they're not getting paid a lot, and they're often living in remote areas. Uh, they sacrifice a lot, and to have the president instructing them to do illegal things, uh, and then talking about pardoning that, I mean, it's, uh, it just, I don't know, it's, it's where we're at, I guess. Jake Tapper, thank you. Thanks, Anderson. That alone is plenty to talk about, but that's far from all there is to say tonight. So we're digging deeper. Earlier, I spoke with New York Democratic Congresswoman Kathleen Rice, who sits on the House Homeland Security Committee. Congresswoman Rice, I mean, when you, when you heard this idea float, I mean, when we were on the air when this story broke in the Washington Post last night, at first, uh, Max Boot, the, the person I was with, thought it was a like a, a spoof from The Onion, like <laughs> sort of. It just seems so outrageous. And then, you know, first to have the White House come out and say, "Oh no, 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 this was just nothing." And then the president comes out and and doubles down on it. Yeah. Well, first of all, it's just so horrible to hear the president talk about these people mm -hmm. the way that he does. Like there's some kind of contagion that he's going to drop in these cities all over the country when all he has to do is really look no further than Mar-a-Lago mm. for hardworking people who came here for a better life. He knows them. He's Wait, hired them. He's been hiring them for he's years. He's been hiring them for years. Um, it's just a, a terrible. But this is the way he talks, Anderson, about this issue. And it's no surprise. It's going into his reelection. The one issue that really fires up his base right. is to talk about immigration. So do you think this is even... I mean, there's no, I, I imagine, there, I mean, legally, I don't think this can be done. The Department of Homeland Security pushed back on this. 
Um, do you think this is just something where he can say, look, I wanted to dump them in sanctuary cities for his base? Or do you think he actually wanted this to happen? Well, I, I think a lot of these ideas that he comes up with are really the brainchild of Stephen Miller. Mm. And one of the things that I have a problem with is you have this White House figure, Stephen Miller, who has come up with all of the policy proposals that have been shot down by courts as illegal and against the law. And he is basically the de facto head of the Department of Homeland Security right now. Mm. And yet he's unanswerable. I mean, you can't have it both ways. Stephen Miller cannot draw all of, the, decide what the policies are going to be at the Department of Homeland Security and then hide behind executive privilege saying, no, 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 I'm just a White House employee so that he can't be held accountable. He needs to come before Congress and I'm going to work with the Homeland Security Committee, which I sit on, to see if we can get him to come and answer these questions because these policies are, even people in the Department of Homeland Security are saying we are not going to do these policies because they're illegal. 